So loop rescue coming in from the descender side this time. So this one's a little bit more difficult. Um, coming in from the crawl side, as you climbed out, it was the casualty of the descender that got tighter and tighter, so you could just lower it off. This time, if it was to do the same thing, the crawl would get tighter and tighter. Obviously, I can't release that, so we need to do a bit of a changeover first. So I'm going to get nice and close to the casualty. I've clipped over both ropes just the same as I did uh, doing it from the, the other side. Come in nice and close, and I can get my connections between the two of us. So cow's tail, same as last time, into the D-ring on the waist, and again just be careful that you're not going through the loops. When I came in from the crawl side, I was using the casualty's chest D-ring for my short connection. Now that's not going to work here because it's too far away, things are going to twist. So I'm going to go to the casualty's waist D-ring, and I'm probably going to need three carabiners here. And I've gone into the D-ring on my waist. And again, just stop at this point and double check that you haven't made any connections through the loops. So now I've added stuff on, I can start taking rid of, uh, getting rid of things. I'm not going to get rid of anything on the far side. I'm going to take off the casualties back up, nearest to me. Now, I need to take his descender off and move it over here. So I'm going to leave the crawl as it is just now. I'm then going to lower off on the descender. The weight will come onto the short connection. So I'll do that just now. Can be a little bit awkward getting the handle around sometimes. If you don't have enough slack to do that, you would have to climb out a little bit to create that slack. So I'll strip out the rig. I'm also going to disconnect the carabiner that I came down into the loop just now. So I've taken the rope out of the casualty descender, but I'm still not ready to take the crawl off yet, otherwise we could take a swing in this direction. So I'm going to take the casualty descender off, I'm going to load the rope into it, now just be careful that you're doing this so you're going to descend this way. So load it in, flip it back into the casualties D-ring. I'll pull through as much rope as I can and lock it. So I can now think about taking the crawl off and it'll be sitting in his descender. So I'm going to use the casualties hand descender as a lifting point here. I'm going to get rid of that cow's tail. Now this time I'm going to put a carabiner through the top of the hand descender. So that gives me a little bit more headroom. And I'm going to use my bit of string to get him out of the crawl. So definitely go into the D-ring on the chest, keeps the crawl nice and upright, especially if you've got an unconscious casualty or a dummy like this. I'm going to wrap it around once. twice and I'm going to put my hand descender on the cord but I probably won't need my foot in the foot loop this time so he doesn't have his full weight on it so if I just give that a pull with two hands I can pop crawl and lower off on the bit of string I'm going to check the backup's not up Now, it'd be not a bad idea to try and keep your casualty a bit more upright if you can. Don't know how well this is going to work with the dummy, but I'll clip it in there. Okay, so we're now pretty much in the same position as if we came in from the climbing gear side. Sort that tangle out. So I'm going to build a hole system to start climbing back up this way.
push that up nice and high. I'll slide the top hand the tender first. Check my back up. Okay, so I'll try and give it a little bit more just to be safe, make sure I've definitely got the height. Okay, so I'm hoping that'll do it. Okay, so I'm now good to lower off. So we're pretty much across. I can strip out the back up. Take the rope out of the sender. De-rig my pulley system. Friction carabiner on, and down the door.